Hey what's up guys, Gammy here. Today I'm going to be showing you guys some advanced dodging and dashing that I use in my everyday gameplay on Brawlhalla and just some really good tricks that you can use against your opponent. So if we just turn off everything here. So, dodging and dashing, movement is really a big thing in this game. I think it's very important. To warm up with dodging and dashing, I really like to just do this across the stage. Just jump, fast fall, jump, fast fall, dash, jump, fast fall, dash, jump, fast fall, all the way across. So, let's see. If you're hitting your opponent, another thing is chase dodging. You always want to be chase dodging, especially in the higher ranks. Whether it be to your opponent or from them, you can mix it up. A little thing that I like to do with, e with spear, this works with a few other weapons, I'm not quite sure. So this is what it will look like. And you can do that with a few other weapons, not quite sure, but you always want to be dodging, fast falling, chase dodging around your opponent. Just because it's really good to get uh, an advantage on them. Spacing is always good in this game. You always want to have control of the map, so say the fate is there, I have more control over the map right now than he, than she will. Or he I have more room to work with and this is more area that a weapon could spawn so you could always be throwing away weapons at all times you could be weapon starving them which is very helpful and higher ranked another thing that I see a lot of people doing with a lot of weapons is they'll start out the combo chase dodge the other side and go again that does work can catch a lot of people off guard with that, but I will say it is very predictable. I would get out of the habit of watching people do this and trying to do it yourself, because if they dodge left, say, you're missing. You're not landing that. There's a lot of dodges that they could do just to get out of that. If they're spot dodging, and you know they're spot dodging, sure, it will work every single time. So, you can always do this. I don't recommend gravity cancelling ever, because it is a waste of a dodge, and you won't get that dodge back for a few seconds when you're in the air. Like, if I use it right, if I use it right here, I don't have a dodge till after I use my recove. That's three moves, that's two jumps and a recove that is are being wasted. So I'd prefer to just hit that, try to dodge down. If you're hitting them, back up. Dashing, you always want to be dashing. So you can hit them, back, keep going or something. Whatever it may be, guys. You can always keep things going when you're dodging and dashing. But you can chase dodge. And then there's a chain dodge. A chain dodge is when you do two. It's a bit faster. You, at first you might not see it in your gameplay, you might not do it at all. But eventually, it's just gonna become muscle memory for you guys. It's really easy to get the hang of, it's not hard at all. The only hard part about it is implementing it into your gameplay. But chain dodging for sure is really helpful. Chase dodging's good if you just want to get back to the map or something. You know? Still can't do it.
another thing is if you get hit you depending on how you're dodging you can dash and jump out of a lot of combos in this game so I'd always keep that in mind when dealing with someone who just plays passive to dodge through you you always just wanna wait you can even chase dodge up I like to chase dodge up if they're playing passive get a little bit of a height but yeah when just dashing dashing and dodging are always very important you can dash up, dodge back, dash back, dodge up, whatever it may be. But yeah, thanks for watching my short little video guys, and I'll see you guys next time. Later.